What's up, everyone? This is Todd from a shot of adrenaline.net, and I am going to teach you how to build your own home gym made out of PVC. And the reason that I created this or built this is because I've been inspired for a long time by people like Hit Richards and Hannibal for King and Dennis Minnan and Barbarians and all these guys online that can do some crazy calisthenic moves like front levers and and parallel bar handstands and ton of other sweet calisthenic moves, but I didn't have a place to practice them. I had a P90X bar, but other than pull-ups and chin-ups and some front levers, you can't really practice like a full muscle-up, and you can't really practice handstands on parallel bars and whatnot. So I created this home gym made out of PVC, and you can see it right here. It has a bunch of stations that you can do to practice these moves. It has rope with some parallel bars I, I, the idea was for rings, and so I just took some PVC and, and put these here. You've got a bar that you can climb up and parallel bars down here. You've got a ton of things. I'm going to show you uh, some ways that you can uh, do your exercises as well as uh, build this. So the duct tape here is for uh, grip. And I'm going to lead you step by step by in how to create this. So make sure you have your pen and paper because I've got some specific dimensions for the PVC pipe. So let's get started. Okay, first things first, this is this is all the equipment that you're going to need. You've got men, a bunch of connector pieces. You've got one cross piece. You have eight of these elbow joints and it's a female and a male end. Make sure you get that. That's important. You've got a one one connector piece. I should mention also too that all of this is one and a half inch PVC. So you could have it. I'm about 180 pounds and in my gym holds me up pretty well. If you're a little bit heavier, you might want to use two inch PVC, but the one inch, one and a half inch works perfectly fine for me. So you also have 25 of these T sections. So that's in, those are really important. And then right here you have PVC cement and PVC primer. So on that last image you saw this purple stuff. You can see it here again. This purple is the primer. So you put that on the ends and then it takes off the oil from the manufacturer. So when you put the cement on, then it basically bonds this together. This is these are all one this is just one piece. That cement just totally it basically melts that PVC together and then bonds it together. So that's how you have a nice sturdy gym. And then two, I'll mention at the end, you don't want to bond everything together because you want to be able to take right now this is in my in my basement, but in the summertime I want to put it outside. So you want to only bond specific places together, and I'll show you that at the end. So here are all the pieces again. You've got your PVC cement and primer. These are some metal bars, one-inch metal bars, six-inch long, one-inch wide. And I ended up not using these. I ended up using this six-inch uh, PVC pipe for my handles of my rings, my hanging rings. So you can use bars for out of PVC or metal. And then here's my rope. Then this is these are all the pieces. So you're going to need 10 one-foot-long PVC pipes. So get out your paper and pen. If you want to go down Home Depot, they'll cut all this for you for free. So you don't need to worry about cutting it yourself. I'm definitely not mechanically inclined. So, I mean, I know how to measure, but beyond that, I'm actually surprised that I put this thing together. But it's extremely sturdy, and the people at Home Depot helped me. So and I just want to share with you. But I learned. So 10 one foot long PVC pipes. This one is one foot one inch. So you'll need one one foot one inch PVC pipe. You'll need 18 two foot long PVC pipes. These are all two foot long. Then you'll need um, two two foot and three and a half inch PVC. That's right here. Two foot three and a half inch PVC, two of them. Then you'll need six four footers. These are basically going to be your cross beams. Then you're going to need one four foot three inch PVC. That's this one right here. You can see it's a little bit longer than the others. Then you'll need two four foot eight and a half inch pieces. 
right, it's right here, and then you'll need one, four, one five foot, three and a half inch piece. So that's right here. So that's everything that you'll need to put together. And I spent about a hundred and a little bit less than 150 bucks to put this to buy everything. And I made a bunch of mistakes. So you should be able to do it for 120, 125, and you'll have your sweet PVC home gym. So let's go ahead and move on. First things first, you gotta put your base together. And I would highly recommend not cementing it first in place because you want to make sure that you've you can put it together right before you actually cement it in place because if you screw up then you essentially have to buy the pieces over again. So first put your two footers uh, into your T-section and then this will be your elbow joint. So your elbow joint will go into your T-section and then your other two footer will go uh, the opposite direction. So same thing on the other side. You're just building your base right now. Okay, so now you put your one footer into those T section vertical so it'll be going upwards on both sides now same thing on the other side so basically you're building your parallel bars the foundation of your parallel bars right now so your T section you add to the other end both ends and then your one footer you put on top of that so now you put four T sections on top of that but you put them like this this T section, the middle section is going to be pointed down. Same thing on this one. For this, the middle section of the T section is going to be pointed horizontal because you're going to be, want to be building upwards off of these, these holes right here. So make sure you've got that correct. Then you pop in your, uh, your bars. These are your four foot, eight and a half inch bars. This is just, these are basically your parallel bars. Which you can practice your parallel handstands, you can practice your dips, and a ton of other exercises. So that's it. Now there's another one foot section. Pop on to the T section right there. And then you're going to put another T section with the holes pointed horizontal. Because this is going to be one of your cross beams going this way. And then here, this is your first two foot section that's going up and another two footer that's going up here. Okay, same thing, you put your T section on top of that other two footer. This is your two footer that we just put on. T section, T section, and then another two footer on top of that, on both of them. So start to build the base on the other side. Two foot sections into your elbow, which goes into your T section with a hole pointed up on both sides. Same thing, one foot section into the T's on both sides. These are one footers. Then pop in your T sections with your holes pointed horizontal. This is going to be another support structure. Put your one footer on top of your T sections. So again, you're building your base going upwards. And then, so this was that first one foot section. And then you put your T sections in but with the holes pointed towards the other side of your gym. And then this is your first four foot section of PVC, both sides. Same thing, T section into your four footer. So then pop on your two foot section and into the T's and then put another T on top of that with the, horiz with the, ho with the holes going horizontal. Same thing on the other side. And then see how you just put in the four foot section, just like that, pretty easy. And then your two footer on top of that going up, and you can see I'm getting to the top of the ceiling. So it's a little bit above six foot. And then this is really important, so you want to pay close attention to this part, is you have your elbow joints, and uh, you want to have your elbow joints on this side, pointed toward each other. So see how the cross beams are going this way. Have your elbow joints pointed horizontal to that or perpendicular. So just like this. Because now you're going to pop your T sections going in the opposite direction. So see how the elbow joint was pointed this way. This is the male section. This is the female section. It's pointed this way, going this way, and then you pop your T section going
going so the hole is pointed towards the other side of the gym. Really important. Same thing for this side as well. Because you're basically going to be creating a square up here, and that's going to be your the strength of the uh, the gym. So put that in place. Now put your four foot section into those T sections. Same thing with this side. And then now on the other side, see this is the side with the parallel bars. Up on top, you're going to put your four foot three inch section right in here. Four foot three inch section. So that's right on the top of the PVC gym above the parallel bars. Now you're on the final section. So you're going to put your connector piece into your one foot one inch PVC pipe. And then you're going to put your cross section on top of that and just ba for now balance it in between these two sections. And then you're going to put your two foot three and a half inch PVC pipe on both sides. And then you're up back at the top, just above the section that we were just working on it. And then you're going to put your two foot section into a T with the hole pointed down and then into another two foot section. Then your final piece, you're going to put your, uh, this is a five foot three and a half inch beam going down. And right in those that last section. So this is what it looks like. All finished without the rope and the bars, the hanging bars. And it's a great structure to do your workouts on. So this is what it looks like without the the primer and without the cement. So if you're looking at it at home, make sure that it looks just like this. And it's cool because you can spin this thing around and if you didn't have as much room as I have, you can kind of squeeze it into a corner. Or you could design it differently. You could play around with different ideas. They have tons of different connector pieces at, at uh, Home Depot. So you could have bars going off whichever direction that you wanted to. This is just an example. And this is the final product. So again, I have my duct tape here, up here, here. I practiced my front levers right there and my pull-ups. And I uh, actually just recently put some more duct tape on these parallel bars for better grip. So let me just say real quick that you don't want to connect, you don't want to bond everything together. And like here, you'll see I don't have purple. That's I didn't bond this together. And uh, same thing back here. I didn't bond that together, I didn't bond that together, and I didn't bond that together. And the reason is because I want to be able to carry this when we move or if I want to put it outside. And it's a good place not to bond because your weight is going to be going down anyways. It's going to be going down into this piece. So you don't really need to bond it together. So those are the four sections I didn't bond together. And then I didn't bond right here and right here. So this T-section is one piece, but I didn't bond it into here. So with the mallet, I'll occasionally pound this back into place. But for the most part, it hasn't ever come out. So you don't really have to worry about that. And then, see, on this side, there's no purple right there. I didn't bond this piece into the T. And then I didn't bond behind this bar. You can't see it, but I didn't bond that into place. And one thing to mention, too, is if you wanted to reinforce this, you could put some wooden dowel rods in some of these. This piece I did. I actually just used a garden hoe. It chopped off the end of the, the metal part and then just used the wooden part and just stuck it in there. And it, and it really works well to hold my weight. I actually, all this holds my weight really well and I'm about 175, 180 pounds. And so that's the home gym and how to create it. You can use your uh, drill bits to drill a hole into these sections. And then you just weave your rope into it. And then this is a PVC 6-inch pipe with duct tape around it. And then you just tie a knot in between, double knot. And you can practice your iron crosses. You can practice your muscle-ups on these pieces and have fun with it. There's a guide that I'll show you with a ton of exercises that you can do on it. And on the post, I'll have more of the specifics on... Uh, the blueprints for creating this that you could take to Home Depot and just show them and then have them cut the PVC for you. So hope you enjoy.